Welcome to Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker here at the New York Stock Exchange bringing you a review of this week's stock market. On Monday, there wasn't much economic news as investors waited for the outcome of the Federal Reserve meeting later in the week. On Tuesday, personal income for June rose four-tenths of a percent, consumer spending rose three-tenths of a percent, and the PCE price index rose one-tenth of a percent. The Case-Shiller Home Price Index for May rose one-tenth of a percent, and consumer confidence for July jumped 11.4 points to 135.7 on the strength of the job market. The Pending Home Sales Index for June rose an unexpectedly strong 2.8 percent, and President Trump tweeted his disappointment with China's failure to purchase more U.S. agricultural products, saying the country doesn't come through. On Wednesday, the ADP employment report for July came in at 156,000, and the employment cost index for the second quarter remained tame, increasing six tenths of a percent. The EIA petroleum status report for the week ending July 26 saw crude oil inventory drop eight and a half million barrels. The Federal Reserve concluded their two-day meeting and, as expected by a vote of eight to two, cut the Fed funds rate by 25 basis points to a range of 2 percent to 2.25 percent. However, when Fed Chair Jerome Powell gave a press conference, he described the cut as a mid-cycle policy adjustment as opposed to a long series of rate cuts. Investors weren't pleased with that and markets promptly sold off heavily. On Thursday, the ISM manufacturing index for July fell a half point to 51.2 and construction spending for June declined 1.3 percent. Markets surged until President Trump announced that the U.S. will impose 10 percent tariffs on an additional 300 billion of Chinese goods starting September 1st. The Dow Industrials closed down 280 points and 10-year Treasuries yield fell 12 basis points to 1.89 percent. U.S. crude fell 7.9 percent to $53.95 a barrel and gold rose 1.2 percent to $1,454 an ounce. On Friday, non-farm payrolls for July came in at 164,000, and the unemployment rate remained unchanged at 3.7 percent. Average hourly earnings rose three-tenths of a percent. Markets opened sharply lower over continued anxiety over the U.S.-China trade situation. Now let's take a look at some stocks. Beyond Meat reported its second quarter results after the closing bell on Monday. The plant-based simulated meat producer had weaker than expected earnings, causing shares to tank by over 15 percent during extended trading hours. Beyond Meat reported a loss of 24 cents per share on revenues of 67 million. However, the company also said its revenue surged 287 percent year over year. Also hurting share prices was the announcement of plans to offer additional shares for sale. Advanced Micro Devices reported its second quarter results on Tuesday after the market closed, coming in with earnings of $0.08 cents per share on revenue of $1.5 billion. However, shares fell 10 percent on news that revenue dropped 13 percent year over year, primarily caused by a decline in its computing and graphics segment. For the next quarter, AMD expects revenue to rebound, increasing 9 percent year over year. Apple reported its third quarter results after the closing bell on Tuesday. The tech giant surpassed analyst estimates and provided stronger than expected guidance, sending shares 5.6 percent higher at the open on Wednesday. Apple reported earnings of $2.18 per share on revenues of almost $54 billion. Slowing iPhone sales were offset by growth in the company's wearables, home, accessories and services segments. Apple also declared a cash dividend of $0.77 cents per share. Shopify reported its second quarter financial results before the opening bell on Thursday with earnings of 14 cents per share on revenue of 362 million. The online e-commerce platform surpassed analyst earnings and revenue estimates, sending shares 10 percent higher during midday Thursday. During the quarter, Shopify reported that revenues rose by 48 percent year over year as the company saw strength in its subscription solutions. Square reported its second quarter financial results after the closing bell on Thursday with adjusted earnings of 21 cents per share on adjusted revenue of 563 million. Despite topping analyst estimates, shares tumbled as much as 8 percent on disappointing guidance. Square also decided to sell its food delivery service Caviar to DoorDash for 410 million. This is Financial Buzz Market Weekly. I'm R.K. Walker and I'll see you again next week.